Let's hear my sound first off. Okay, I have my drum ready. And let's press record. And I'll just come in, uh, I'll just follow the click and come right in. So here we go. All right, I'm recording, just recorded that track. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and press the stop button here and then move to a next track. Or if I want to keep things flowing, I can press rehearsal right here. Say I want to go ahead and add maybe another uh, drum instrument to my, to my drum track. Normally, I would have to stop and re record that, stop, record another one. But now I can press rehearsal and try different things. So maybe I want to use, I want to go ahead and experiment with sounds. So let's take a sound like here and let's see how it works. Watch this. Okay, I just recorded that sound. Now, what if I didn't like that sound that I just recorded? I could press erase, and I can erase that one sound. So if I hit the same key that I pressed, hold it down for the amount of time I recorded, and that will be there. And it will, and it will uh, erase what I recorded. So now I'll check it out. Press close, and it's like nothing is there. Now, be, keep in mind, this is still recording because I haven't turned rehearsal on. Now rehearsal is on. So what if my buddy came up and he's, he decided to add a bunch of stuff all over the keyboard. And after listening to it, I realized I don't like any of that. I can press the erase button again, but this time instead of erasing one note, I can erase from a section. So I can say, let's erase from C all the way to C up here. I'll hold these down and it's saying, if we look at the keyboard note, it's telling me, okay, you're erasing from these points here. So from here to here. And I'll just hold it for as long as I need. And that should be good. Now I'll press F8 and close. And now I can rehearse. If I wanted to add something else. But in this case, I want to move to another track. All the while, this is re recording, but it's on rehearsal now. So I can press F8 close. I'm going to go ahead and use my cursor and maybe cursor over to MIDI part 2, which is still on piano. But I'm going to go ahead and you press F1 patch list and I'm going to find a bass. So I'll find a, a nice bass to record. And let's say I just used a, a compressed bass, J bass. Got that. <laughs> So when I'm ready, I can either just press record and now it's solid so it's recording or I like to press this play button because it brings up the window so I can see what I'm doing. So I bring it up and there we can see where I am in the time. So let's go ahead and check out rehearsal and now we're recording. Here we go. One, two, three. So very easy track. Press rehearsal again if I like it. If I don't like it, I could always go ahead and erase a particular note or remember a section of notes. Rehearsal is on. Let's close that window. Let's cursor over to MIDI part number three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to maybe just a basic stage EP. And when I'm ready to record, press the play button and it brings up that little window right there. So I can try it out to see what I'm recording. We can see. Okay, when I'm ready to record, take off rehearsal. Or I could have just pressed record. See how 
So you can go ahead and turn on rehearsal from here and turn it off from here, or turn it on or turn it off from the record button. Let's record. Say I don't like that. Let's press the F6 button and let's go ahead and hold down the keys in that range. So you see I never really have to stop with the creativity. You can go ahead and adjust as needed. Right, rehearse one more time. So I can go. Uh, let's record again one more time. One, two, three. That sounds fine to me. Now if I'm ready, I can press stop. And if we take a peek in our song edit screen, there's my tracks, all three of my tracks right there. Uh, without any issues, very, very easy. And if I wanna save what I just did, I can go ahead and press the song utility button right here. And I can cursor down to number two song name. And I can go ahead and save that as a new song. So uh, I'll go ahead and save this and we'll work on some more on this song in the next videos. But uh, we'll call this one a YouTube song and uh, hope this helps you guys out.